Hi, this is Lana from The Learning Carpet. Today I want to share a great game to introduce the concept of multiplication called Super Grouper. Super Grouper really helps kids to build the visualizing skills and be able to think in equal groups and make those arrays. It also gives them first-hand experience with the identity property of one and the multiplication property of zero. And too often, those are things that get told to children, but they don't get to discover and deeply understand them. So what do you need to get started? Well, I used 30 cards from my GeoData card set, and then I've created two different dice. The first die is labeled 0 through 5, and the second one 1 through 6. Now all I have to do is just roll the die and build the array. Now I'm going to be very careful, since I'm just introducing this concept, I'm going to make sure that I always roll the red die first, and that will be for the number of groups. The blue die will tell me how many uh, will be in each group. And this, again, is a real key understanding for beginning multipliers. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, here I go. I'm going to roll a 4. And, oh, look, I rolled a 1. Well, that's just perfect to bring up that identity property of 1. So I have four equal groups, 1 two, three, four, and one in each group. And you can see that four groups of one, or four times one, equals four. Now, did you notice that I used the term groups of instead of multiplied or times? Again, we're just introducing the concept, and so that language can really help kids to get the concept and then we move forward as they grow in their understanding to link it to those other terms. Okay, so that's great if we did four groups of one, but what would happen if, say, the second die was a five? Well, then I'd need to build four groups with five in each group. You can see my one, two, three, four equal groups with one, two, three, four, five in each group. Now, of course, I'd want my kids to estimate how many do you think you'll build before, and then I also want to really carefully see how they're counting. Are they maybe counting by fours? Are they counting by fives? Did they group things by another? Are they counting by ones? All of this information really gives insight into how well they understand the concept of multiplication, and it will help give you the information you need to move each child forward. So this game is great to um, model on our carpet, but you know what? It's also wonderful to use other materials that you might already have in your room, like stacking counters or square tiles or some other manipulative. You can just use smaller dice and, and the manipulative of your choice and have kids working individually or in partners around the room, all building this skill. Come learn as you play. It's the learning carpet way.